just made it to Hawaii. We are coming to Worlds, and this is gonna be very exciting, guys. But look at Pokemon Go, guys. We need to get this comfy, uh, except it's really far. This one is super far. Hopefully along the way, we're gonna be able to do it. We just flew in actually from Orlando this morning. So it's been almost a 12 hour flight flying through Houston. We saw some epic things on the way into Hawaii, but this event is going to be super fun. My first time ever being at a Worlds tournament and the first time ever being in Hawaii. So you know we had to do the Lapras shirt. Hold on, where's the Lapras? There it is. Look at it. How's the fit check? Hold on, my mic is pulling down on my shirt, but all right guys, let's get into the video. Hawaii Worlds, man. It's gonna be fun. And there's an exclusive event that's going on and hopefully we can get ourselves some shinies during that event as well. Can't wait to show everything to you guys. Let's make it happen. Welcome to the Trainer Club, here we go. Guys, we're on our way over into the convention center right now. How, how long is the drive about? Uh, about five minutes. Five minutes, all right, guys. Um, so we're gonna put on spatial rend right now, which is Palkia's signature move. So at spatial rend. We're trying to get one of these comfy real quick. I'm sure we're probably gonna get quite a bit over the weekend, but I want that to be one of our first things. So we got 10 minutes on the spatial rend. Can we summon a little guy for us? Let's see, because we just missed one right over there. And maybe if we had this on, we would have been able to get it. Come on, Comfy, where are you? Where are you? Oof, a lot of these guys have been so far away every time I see them on the radar. Oh, there is the convention center. You can see it right in the distance. Look at those stops. Holy crap. Oh my God. That is something out of this world right here. Which is why that we have an egg on for is all the new spins. Yeah. That is why we are here, camera up. That's interesting. Eventually that will be shiny when the Mega does come out, but it's not out yet. Holy that, crap, that, that stops. That, that honestly, guys, looks like Zaragoza. Like the football field in Zaragoza looks just like that. Y'all should check out that video up here. It is crazy. That's actually like a spot. If you ever have the chance to go to Zaragoza, Spain, that is that is where you want to be. Wait, there it is. I think I got it. Yes, we where found we it. It was in the lore, it's in the lore back there. All right, guys, there is the Comfy. It wasn't even on the nearby. But that is gonna be the dex entry. This is um, one of the ones that we need. And just like that, we caught it. Da -da -da. Registered to the Pokedex. Is it gonna be a good one? Mm, nope, it is a zero star. All right, well, we are rolling up to the convention center, so it's time to jump out of the car and uh, see what's over here, huh? <laughs> Guys, we have made it to the influencer place. It was a little bit of a, a process to find, and we got ourselves our badge. Let's go. So we have access to the World Championship event. We got ourselves the lanyard to put it on, and then I don't really know what this is. I received Steeny, okay, for Scarlet and Violet. Cool, well, um, we have a merch appointment and I think that all the merch is sold out. I'm actually, Scott and I are here because we really want that Bear Walker skateboard. You guys know that I'm a skateboarder and it's something that I really would love and let's see if we can make this happen. <laughs> All right, guys, we're kicking off Worlds 
in the right manner, and we have none other than Mr. Fleece King. It's good to be back, Billy. I yes. miss you in New York. But I know, finally, dude. Here we are. That's it's crazy. We actually did not see each other one time in New York. I think that's the Too first event people. that we haven't seen each other. There were so many people in New York and just different park days, and it was just stupidly hot. I was just hiding for shelter. Yeah, it was crazy uh, hot out there. Mark, we're making the trade happen now, so I'm giving you the Japanese shiny uh, Orikori, which you don't have. I don't have that. And you're giving me an extra small, kind of cute, the Eevee from South Korea? Yep, with the catch card. I'm down. This extra extra small. I like it. Pretty unique trade. It's not a typical legendary one. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. I wish I could give you the shiny man, but I did not get one in all of South yeah. Korea or all of Mexico. Apparently, hardly anyone. Did, I almost you get like nine encounters a day. That's yeah. It. yeah. It was not if common. This is Shunda, I'm walking off. Four forty nine. It's thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm walking off. Oh, no. Gonna say, gonna say. <laughs> Jeez. All right, brother. Thank you for the trade. Good Appreciate to see you, you man. Let's get Good it. And we have ourselves in Arlo, and I believe Arlo is the last of the leaders for the new leaders that we actually need for the Shadow Shiny. So hopefully we can pull it off here in Hawaii on the first day. This is going to be the Anorith. We do have the Carvana. We have the Leap, and this is going to be the last one. Ooh, this guy's strong, actually. Yeah, he's really strong. Yeah, he's pretty strong. He's like eating my Dragonite to pieces. All right, shield one is down. Hopefully Dragonite will knock him out. There he goes, and bye-bye. It is very bright right here. Steelix. All right, we're gonna go ahead and switch out of that into the Steelix. It looks like there's a lot of scalping going on out here. I'm surprised that they're letting that, I mean, I guess they can't really do anything about it, right? And then we are going to take down the Steelix right here. And then, hopefully we have something weak to fire and we can just take that out. So this is a Gardevoir. And fun fact, fire is going to resist fairy, if you guys didn't know. All right, Gardevoir. Time to go down, and hopefully we're gonna get the shiny right here. There it is. All right, I gotta show you guys this on the way out. This is crazy to me. There's this many scalpers selling Pokemon stuff. Like an obscene amount of scalpers. All right, three, two, one, shiny. Dang it, that would've been epic. All right, well, the hunt for Arlo is still on to complete this shadow shiny trio for the shadow rockets. And we did get ourselves a 12 kilometer egg, which is going to be our, let's see, check it. That's going to be our 11th 12 kilometer egg. Any comfy around? Sure. Nope.
All right, guys, so at the event here, uh, the lighting is insane right now. We actually have a shiny Flabebe. So the orange has already been released. They have the yellow here. Oh no, don't, don't play with me. The yellow as well as the white. All the flowers can be actually shiny, but I don't, I don't know if they have the, I don't think they have the red one here, but that's super epic. Mind Fu is everywhere. And then we have Pikachu in raids. I thought that maybe Pikachu would be spawning in the wild, but unfortunately it's not. So it is extremely loud in here. So I apologize if you, if you can't really hear this, but the GPS signal is not great. So in order to play this game, we need to get out of this place after the seven minutes countdown is done and the world's uh, launch, whatever you want to call this ceremony, is finished. All right, guys, here goes the attempt to catch. I'm a little nervous right now because of all the GPS uh, glitches that we've been having. All right. Stay right there, Flo Baby. There we go. No G. Oh, no. I was afraid of this. Please don't run. I knew it. I knew it. I tried to give it a berry and it was kind of glitching. So hopefully it registers that we did catch this. I might have to report back here in a second. I don't know if I'm willing to let go of this screen quite yet. Five minutes until we have the ceremony. Uh oh. Did we catch it? Yeah, I think it might have ran, dude. I knew it. I shouldn't have caught it. All right. Well, it looks like uh, Shiny Flay Baby has run from us. Nice. Alrighty guys, we've made it out. We got some signal and we got ourselves a shiny white Flabebe again. All right, so I think that these things might actually be pretty common. This is the second one that we've seen in a matter of maybe 20 minutes. So put this one in the bag. Maybe it'd be a good IV, who knows? Shiny Flabebe one, whoa, it actually is. It's a 10, 15, 15, no way, dude. Yo, that's actually sick. Okay, hold on a second. This is what the spawns in the event looks like. It's pretty much impossible to play inside. There are unknown spawning. And is it weird that I said I don't really care about the unknowns, but I will click on it. It is windy weather, so we might as well get a couple of these guys in the process. Unknown. I think I need the yellow Flabebe now, shiny. I have the orange one from GoFest. I just got the white one, and the last one I'm going to need is the yellow one. Do I have the H? I might actually not have the unknown H shiny. Yo! Another white one. We need the shiny mind food too. I might have to just run the the plus plus in the meantime right now. Gosh, there's so many Pokemon here. It's like hard to even see everything. Can't complain about that though. That is a win. We are in the merch, which the B-roll is gonna cut soon, but we got ourselves the yellow shiny Flabebe. Okay, like I said in the clip beforehand, guys, I think that this is gonna be a very, very popular Pokemon uh, for the shiny. It seems like it's gonna be pretty good, so we just have to put this one in the bag, and boom, we have all the Flabebe shinies, except the red and the blue, which are gonna be in field research tasks. Ooh wee. All right, and I think I might have some of them in here. I just keep getting this over and over and over and over again. And, okay, so I don't need that. Uh, spin four different, I, apparently my plus plus is, is dead, but I charged it last night. So I'm not really sure how that happened. Let's go ahead and spin these Pokestops. Okay, power Pokemon four times, spin different Pokestops, got it. All right, and then we have the Comfy. Comfy, did I catch that? Okay, I need one more Pokestop spun. Did I, did I get that one? All right, I think that completes both of these. Let's go ahead and check what we got here. Pikachu number one, 388. If I get this hundo, guys, mark my words, I'm maxing it. That's gonna be another dust spend right there. 
Number two, 402 is what we're looking for, guys. And let's see, anything else? Power Pokemon four times. Let's go ahead and see a level one Pokemon that we have in here. Just to complete this real quick, power up, two, three, four. I hate those power up tasks, man. Out of all of them, not my favorite, but something that is desirable. This should be a red Flabebe, 441, not shiny. But we got a lot of work to do, guys, over the next couple days. We need to get all these shiny Flabebes. We need to try to get this Hundo Pikachu. And now let's cue the merch, because we are in the Pokemon Center right now. Taking a break, we just had an insane haul at the Pokemon store, and guys, guess what we got here? The shiny Mindfu. Scott has already got one, and now we have one too, and I am super pumped about this. But I gotta probably wait till we hit a red light here. We're going a little fast to be able to, to risk one of these shinies. But this is, you know, halfway through, not even, a couple hours into the first day, and I have both of the Flababies that we need. We're probably gonna have to go and do some, like, grinding on the research because there's the rare red and the blue ones in the research that should be able to be shinies as well so that's going to be for another time in another video there it is great throw right there Let's bring this one home and we have not even eaten any food yet <laughs> oh man these days they, they start getting a little crazy sometimes 636 is a, a zero star but hey it's all worth it come on spin the stops dude what the heck there we go one and then two and guys, there's also something cool going on here as well, which we did get. So different Pokestops. This should be a Pikachu encounter, I believe. Yep. Uh, 397. 402 is the 100% IV Pikachu that we're shooting for. And guys, maybe we'll get it on this one, or maybe I'll have to show you the next one. But there are catch cards on these Pikachu. Not on this one, but check out this Pikachu. Hawaii catch card, no way, that's a great one. And just to confirm guys, Scott did get the shiny blue Flabebe that is in Hawaii that is only in the research, which is power Pokemon four times. And then it's either a red or a blue task, and then you can get the Flabebe. Let's go, man. And we are jumping into this Pikachu raid. This one's pretty strong, guys. I don't know if we're gonna be able to beat it. <laughs> okay. Looking for the hundo, I forget what the hundo CP is. It's, it's definitely maybe like 535, something like that. But most importantly, we're trying to get ourselves a shiny, shiny Pikachu. Can we get it? Three seconds it took us to take it down. Anybody get a bronze one? Did not. 508 is the CP and that is not gonna do it. And we have a few field research to check here uh, before we try to get this another shiny. Uh, white Flabebe, and for everybody out here in Hawaii, these Flabebes are going to be very valuable to bring back because not everybody is getting this type of access and shiny rates for these ones. So, Scott got the blue one. So far, we have not seen the red one yet. Neither of us have gotten the shiny one, but we have two chances right here. Let's see if I can get another power up a Pokemon task right here. We got a couple yellow Flabebes. Please be. Yes, okay. And I try to do at least three of these at the same time if I can help it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this Flabebe, power it up four times, 800 Stardust. And then we'll be able to claim four research tasks. One. Don't know, nope, not shiny. Alrighty, and then we're gonna get a second one. Which is a red one, maybe we can get the red shiny. Don't think so, it's not. And the last one is gonna be the blue one. One more check at a blue one. How cool would it be to leave this place with all of the shiny Flabebes? Is a blue one. We got the blue shiny! Nice! Let's go! So 430 is not a great one, but it is a caught one. And that's what's important. Ooh, level one Pokemon. That is what I need right there. How you can tell is you can look at the stem of the Flabebe, and if it is a purpley color, that is the shiny. That's the only way you can really tell 
between the difference. So if we look at, here's a regular blue one. If you look in the middle, it's got yellow and green in there. And if you look at the middle of that one, it's got like purple inside. Yes, all right, one more. All right, guys, uh, Scott just got a shiny mind foo. That is a great shiny. One of my favorite shinies to date. And we are going to, we just powered up. Let's see, maybe we can get one too. Nope, not on that one. So we are going to number one, hit a couple of these stops as well. So we have a couple flabebes. Okay, so there's the blue one. That one's not shiny. 452 though, that actually might be the Honda. 452, no. Okay, so it is a 96. So it's gotta be like 455, something like that for the Hundo. But we do have two chances at the red one. Maybe we can pull a red shiny. Come on. Nope, not that one. All right, and the next one is going to be the last check that we have here. And uh, shiny red, please. And it is not 434. And our first glance at a Hawaii beach. Man, look at that water. I cannot wait to come back here and swim in this. Holy goodness. That's gorgeous. And we got ourselves a shiny Skarmory, guys. This one um, is definitely one that we've had quite a bit of. Remember, it is a boosted shiny, but we'll take it for the shiny count for the day. Because I have a feeling that if we keep, you know, playing decently consistently, we're probably gonna have a decent amount of shinies today. 941 is a zero star. Maybe we can go back to back on those Skarmories. Nope, not there. And then there is another Comfy. So we've been catching as many of these with silver pineapple berries as we can. And it seems like they also have boosted XL candy rates. I don't know if it's just for this event or if it's for everybody, but uh, over here for certain Pokemon, we're getting quite a bit of XL candy. It seems like every single time I catch a Comfy, I'm getting guaranteed three XL candy. We'll see if we maintain that here. This one is, no, that's a one. Okay, so I, maybe I've, I've just been getting lucky then. Interesting, all right. Uh, Sandy Gast, and let's check on, no. And we have our second shiny yellow Flabebe. This one's gonna be 877. Like I said, the purple is what you can tell in the middle. So I, I'm looking right in the middle of those uh, Flabebes every single time that I catch it, and then I'll be able to see if I do have the shiny. So number two is checked off. Nice XL candy. Wow, it's actually a uh, 14, 11, or sorry, 13, 11, 13. <laughs> oh man, we got a shiny background Pikachu. Let's go, bro. <laughs> and now we have a couple more research tasks that we have to choose. So number one, me, little baby. Okay, we need this red one, guys. This one has to get caught today. Well, I guess by the time we leave this. So red one, number one is not it. And we have two more blues. Oh, you got the red one? Nice, dude, it's a thing. Oh, is that a good one? Whoa, 98, bro. All right, guys, and we do have a 98% IV shiny red flababe. They are real. Bro, let's go. Wow, look at that. All right, and then we have 429 on this one. Wow, you got the hundo too. Yeah. Dang, dude. With the catch card, Pikachu. No. Dude, you're on fire, man. This is your event. <laughs> and the last but not least, we have this one, which is a non shiny. the next round of research just powered up some Pokemon we're probably gonna be spending a little bit of Stardust this weekend but it's gonna be worth it because these Flabebes are ultra rare number one not shiny I can't believe that dude got a 98 shiny red Flabebe and a hundred percent IV catch card Pikachu guys like I said if I get that Pikachu I am 100% maxing that this time around number two we have ourselves come on shiny 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 dang it 452 not quite the hundo there I believe Probably the Hundo's 455 or 456, one of the two there. Let's go ahead and check this one. Yeah, 96. And the last but not least, we have ourselves the blue one, which we already have the shiny, but we will take another, and it's not it. We have ourselves another Pikachu raid, maybe, maybe raid like seven-ish. Not going insane, but whenever they're available, we are trying them. This one is not gonna be shiny. 517, I don't believe that's a Hundo either, which is a little bit of a bummer, but it's okay. Trying to get the Honda, uh, the Hundo would be amazing, and the Shiny would be extra cool too. Maybe me and Pikachu can be friends. It did have a catch card. That is 517 on this one. 
Let's see, do we have any research that we can claim here? Okay, so we have four power-up of Pokemon tasks. Go ahead and use this Marini. So yes, we are spending Stardust, but since we're catching a lot of Pokemon, we are definitely offsetting this because our Stardust is going up, although I am powering up a decent amount of like level one-ish Pokemon. So we have Blue Flower, and then we have the Red Flower, non-shiny. And finally, we have ourselves a... Yeah. Another blue flower, non-shiny. However, guys, check this out. I did not know what the 100% IV for the Flabebe is, and somewhere it's in here. Check this out, 455, we got it from the field research. The 100% IV red one, which is pretty cool. That is the European flower. And then also, we were on our way back, did not have our camera with us, but we did film it. We got the shiny red Flabebe, so that is going to complete all of the shiny Flabebes that we actually need. Thankfully, we're not a active Dex shiny hunter, so I don't need to have three of everyone because that would be crazy. But throughout the weekend, you know, now that we've got a decent amount on day one, pretty cool. 455, that's going to be a 15, 13, 14. That means that, you know, potentially over Saturday and Sunday, we'll be able to get more of them. And then, you know, people are definitely going to want those in trades. And also for the Flabay Bay, guys, just as a reminder, if you have all of them in your decks, and you have at least one of them that's a shiny, all the rest will not require 40,000 Stardust because it's just a costume variant kind of action, as opposed to, you know, if you didn't have any shinies in the decks, that first one will cost 40,000, but then all of the other ones, as long as you have caught one nine shiny of the other typings, will not be a special trade for that much. So if you're gonna get a shiny from somebody, please make sure if you don't have that full baby, to take a other Flabebe non-shiny of that typing first and then do the shiny trade after and it'll only cost 800 Stardust. We are back at the stadium, guys. Man, oh man, look at this. This is actually our fourth blue shiny Flabebe from research, which is, that's kind of crazy, man. Like literally actually kind of crazy. So we have more than enough of the blue Flabebe. The red one has been quite less common and we have not got another mind foo. 455 is the hundo as we saw a little bit earlier, but can we go back to back? Oh, we have a comfy sitting behind that one. Been running a fairy mega all day, trying to get some XL candy of this Pokemon up because who even knows when I'm gonna be able to get this Pokemon again? Who knows? 64, wait, my mega actually ran out. That's what I was actually thinking right there. And no back to back shinies, but great spawns at the event. A little bit of trouble. Yeah, what up, bro? Speaking of trouble. <laughs> Yo, uh, how many shines did you get today? Uh, a lot, actually. I did great. Yeah? How about you? I did pretty good, too. Let me see. Yeah? yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I got a bunch of Flababes. One red one. Awesome. Yeah. GG's. Yeah, brother. All righty, guys. We are in the um, reseller section. We got our first card, $2. It is a, a VMAX Lapras. It's actually in Chinese. What do you guys think? That thing is nice, no? Look at everything. And the Pikachu search has been absolutely a grind and we actually got ourselves the shiny from Field Research, 372. Unfortunately, it is not a good IV, but hey, we did get one. Scott is up next on the list. I know it's coming for him. So tomorrow we'll probably maybe walk a little bit more efficiently, try to get some of these stops completed. That is literally almost the base floor of 11, 10, 10. Not even good enough to be a straight tens, but let's go. Okay, so the raids are, are quite prevalent too, and there's a lot of research to be done in this Hawaii area. And it's gonna be turning over every single day, so it's something that we do want to do to try to get that done. So, man, the grind is done. Let's check out the recap right now. And the day has finished. We are back in the hotel lobby. What a freaking day. Guys, look what we got again. Another freaking 100% IV Flabebe on the way home in the Uber. Well, I guess we took a lift, so in the lift. Not only that, guys, we also got ourselves another Pikachu, but it has the catch card and it's a female. So I guess the male is the rarer one of the two, but dude, a catch card shiny Pikachu is absolutely epic. We had quite the haul today. Let's go ahead and do age zero. And shiny. Man, we got 13 shinies today. We have the white flower flip, baby. We got the yellow one. We got the Mindfu, which is epic. The blue, Skarmory, 
we got another yellow one, a red one, a blue one, a blue one, a blue one, a Pikachu, a Licky Tongue that I didn't film not too long ago, and then a Pikachu. So what do you guys think of this event? If you are in Hawaii, let me know. And if you're not in Hawaii, let me know as well. How are your spawns out there? What are you guys getting? And I'm excited for tomorrow. We're gonna try to get as many shiny Pikachus as we possibly can, because guys, look at this. We have not claimed any of this research that I believe is all Pikachu encounters. And then I have this one as well, which I should be able to complete all today. And then that leaves us for a lot of checks tomorrow. And we're gonna get to be able to redo all of those Pokestops once again. And there's a lot. And with using all that Stardust to power up by managing, the level one Pokemon, I still gain Stardust today. And don't forget we had Flabebe run from us in the beginning of the day because of the GPS stuff. And it was on a lore, so we weren't able to get it again. So that was a grand total of 14 Shinies, one RIP. And then guys, look, we actually gained Stardust by powering up and using, remember these tips I tell you guys, I want you guys to save your Stardust. I want you guys to get the best experience you can at Pokemon Go. So I have powered up a lot of Pokemon today. A lot of Pokemon, probably over a hundred power-ups. And so if you're using really expensive Pokemon, it is a terrible idea for your Stardust. Because look, I started today at 101, 867. And with 100 power-ups, using the power-up technique, I actually gained about 65,000 Stardust with 100 power-ups, which is unheard of if you're using the wrong Pokemon to power-up. So please guys, when I tell you this, save your Stardust, keep it in the bank. And this is why. So thank you guys for being here as always. Love and appreciate you to all of my likers, commenters, subscribers, Patreon members. Everybody take your support, subscription, and participation to X level. I'm going to see you guys out on the next video. Peace. I want to take this time to thank everybody who supports me in every facet. It means the world to me and an extra special thank you to all my Patreons. I greatly appreciate the extra support to continue to allow me to pursue Pokemon Go full time. Allowing me to create my daily video uploads in the most timely fashion for everyone's benefit. Plus, I get the amazing experience of sharing my creative processes behind the scenes and rating all around the globe with select upper tiers. Thank you everybody for being a part of the Trainer Club. You all mean the absolute world to me, and I will see you guys out on the next video.